What's up, everybody? It's your boy Vincent Wolf. It is Monday, August 14th, 2017, and it is getting unbelievably crazy in America. Uh, if you don't know, we've been sleeping on a rock, or you just haven't been paying attention. There was a march in Charlottesville, Virginia, about, not March, but a protest, dueling protest, huh? one protest, had the KKK, white supremacist, neo-Nazis out there wanting to keep the um, General Lee's statue there, they didn't want to take it down, and the other was people protesting, hey, we got to take this down, this is a new America, and we you know, we want equality for everybody. But the white supremacists didn't want that. So it went violent. Very, very violent, very, very quickly. And one of the leaders of the KKK said that he will make Donald Trump's America a reality. Because they support Donald Trump and they voted for Donald Trump. Like I've been telling people. But apparently, people don't want to listen. And what, what kills me about this is that you have people, like, I, I know a guy who's Puerto Rican, and he loves Donald Trump. Loves him. And I messed him on Facebook. I was like, yo, so what's your take on what's going on in Charlottesville? I haven't heard anything. So every time something goes wrong, I always ask him about it. Doesn't tell me nothing. And it just makes me mad. I'm like, yo, you... You are promoting a guy who promotes white supremacy. They don't. They don't like you either. They don't. <laughs> you think they're gonna? Oh yeah, you support us. You come with. No, that's not how that works. It's not. You know, it's just, it's, it just makes me mad. And and uh, then Donald Trump gets on, and he's you know doing his speech, and he's just like, yeah, it's. It's sad, it's going on, very bad, very bad. You know, he always says words twice. And there's there's hatred on both sides. No, dude, there's no hatred on both sides. There's hatred on one side. And he would never call him out by their name. Never, he would never call him out by their name. And I watched, you know, MSNBC, CNN. I even watched Fox News to talk about it. And Fox News, forget about them. But they, they always said the same thing. Like, he will not acknowledge that they exist. You got Steve Bannon in the White House, who's a known white supremacist, will not acknowledge that, that that's what he is. And everyone knows that that's what he is. But people were just like, nah, that's not what he does. Yeah, he's written books about it. So, like, I just I just can't, I just can't deal with it anymore. Like, it's just, it makes me so frustrated that we live in a world now, it's 2017, and people still can't get along. Because they had this idea in their head that they should be the only people on the planet. Like, I just, I just don't get it. Like, this planet is big enough for everybody. And I also, they, um, what I did like is that people are calling them terrorists. Because that's what they are. Like, it's about time people start calling them terrorists because that's what they do. The KKK, white supremacists, neo not that's, that's what they do. They are actual terrorists. And what kills me is that they keep saying, oh, well, terrorists, all terrorists are Muslim. No, not all terrorists are Muslim. They just happen to be Muslim. And I know probably some people are going to watch the video and say, well, the Black Panther Party and the Black Lives Matter Party are terrorists too. No, they're not. They're not. You, you message me and tell me who they terrorized. Please, I'll be waiting. All right? I will be waiting. Now, if there's some people in the Black Lives Matter that, that did something and said this is for the Black Lives Matter movement, yeah, but they weren't a part of Black Lives Matter. You understand what I'm saying? So not only we got that going on, we got uh, Donald Trump starting war with North Korea. Like, there's <laughs> so much going on in one week. Like I just, I, and now they're talking about North Korea might attack this week. He, he he might do something to make Donald Trump 
because Donald Trump doesn't, he's like, he gets baited so easily. He falls for the okie doke all the time. And he, he just falls for it. So that's what Kim Jong Il is going to do. He's going to bait him, see if he attacks so we can have war. Because Kim, Kim Jong Il is ready. He is ready to go to war. And so many people already don't like Donald Trump all over the world. So they're ready to demolish Donald Trump as much as possible. He's, Donald Trump out here talking about he's going to bring fire and fury like the world's never seen before. Like, we're supposed to be, you know, trying to promote peace. But yet, Donald Trump, all he wants to do is promote war and chaos. That's it. And make the rich rich. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers, Sway. I don't have the answers. All I know is that we could... We do have... Shout out to all those white people out there that were fighting against the white supremacists out there. Shout out to all of them. You know, and, that, and my condolences to the family of the two officers that died and, and the woman that died. There was a guy... They said he was a white supremacist. He ran people over at a Dodge Charger. Like, floored it. Just ran, ran into a crowd of people, uh, anti-protesters. You know, the people who were who wanted to take, who were, who were protesting the white supremacist. Florida, and he injured dozens of people, and he, he killed the, that young woman. It's just crazy. Like, there's videos online that show uh, people getting beat up, bloodied up, and, and people were fighting back. We're not going to... We don't, we don't, you guys aren't, don't belong. You know, you know what's funny about these white supremacists and neo-Nazis? They, they do the salute. They only do, they, they can only do it here. Because if you go to Germany with that bullshit, they will beat your ass. Literally. It's, it, you can look it up. It happened recently. They was, a white supremacist went over there doing that, not waving that Nazi flag, doing that Nazi shit. He got his ass whipped. Because it's illegal to have that over there. Illegal. And now, with that said, the swastika is illegal in Germany where it originated, but you can have it here in America because we have freedom of speech. There's freedom of speech over there in Germany, too. But why is it that here we promote it, but anybody else promotes their freedom of speech, they get limited? Think about that. KKK's been around for a long, long, long time. A long, long time. And a lot of media will, they they won't even acknowledge that they exist unless they promoting them. Like that small town that, that I said in my last video, they gave them a happy birthday. Like, come on. We need to, we need to step up our game, man. And, and I know uh, everyone saying you got to get out and vote, got to get out and vote. Yeah, you do have to vote. But not only just vote the right people, we need more uh, diversity for the people that we're voting for. Because people get, they get into, you know, they have their, you know, skeletons in the clouds of, of them being white supremacists and most of the people in the White House are white supremacists now. You know, so, say we gotta get out there and, and start politicking and doing more, you know, to create this uprising, to change the, the perception America, because everyone sees it all across the world. Everyone sees it, but it's it's us that have to see it. Not us as in black people or Spanish people. Us as in America. We all gotta be looking at the same damn book. So, yep, that was uh, stuff I had to get off my chest. You know, like I have a neighbor that they were driving their trunk, their, their, their truck, and they had a uh, four Donald Trump sign on their truck. I was like, all right, whatever. But they also had the Confederate flag on their truck. And he's my next door neighbor. So now I'm thinking to myself, because I know what that represents. And if you, you want to dismiss it, that that's ignorance right there. So he has his Confederate flag on his truck. And he has me, a black person, he has a Hispanic person next door to him. So I'm like adjacent. So like, how is it that he has this on his truck? He's surrounded. He says good morning to me. I say good morning to him. 
but I know after seeing it, I'm like, all right, is he like, <laughs> like he, he can't actually like me. Like he's probably civil. Like he'll be civil, but I know I don't. He, you know, I won't park in front of his house no more, just just in case. But like, you know, like because sometimes I gotta park on the street because I gotta leave early in the morning. But. It's stuff like that. It's just, it's just, it's scary. Like they're all over the country, and people try to act like, oh, well, it's just a flag. No, that flag represents a certain mindset of people. It's not, it's not just a flag. The, you know, not like the pirate flag. It, no, this flag is a it represents a certain mindset of people, and people wave it proudly. I, up in Central New York, I see it all the time. Like federal flag. They even sell the federal flag. What well, it used to, I think they stopped. When I first moved here uh, to Central New York, they had it at Walmart. You could buy Confederate stuff at Walmart. So, showing you. They took it out. I haven't seen it. But, excuse me, I could be wrong. But, as far as I know, I, when I first got here, I remember seeing it there. The Confederate. Uh, Fair flag merchandise that you can buy. So, all right, that was some stuff I had to get off my chest. And uh, just want to shout out to all of my new subscribers. I'm up to 78 now, over 1600 views total. Thank you guys so much. More come every day, and I hope more continue to come every day. Um, so hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think about what's going on in Charlottesville, it's, it's really crazy, man, like, it, it was, like, two days of just pure chaos, and our own president won't even do anything about it, that, that's, that's the, that's the sad part, that our own president won't do anything about it, and he know he won't do anything about it, so, hope you guys stay safe out there, hope you guys, um, you know, be peaceful, love everybody, because it's, it's one one planet, one race, man. It's, it kills me that that people keep thinking that people are better than someone else because of the color of their skin. You know, it's it's not it's not how that works. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll get you guys up later.